Saudi King tours Indonesia with giant retinue. The King of Saudi Arabia, Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, landed in Jakarta on March 1st, the first Saudi king to visit the country in 47 years. Which is notable enough, but what's really got people talking is what he brought with him on his Asian tour. Almost 460 tons of gear and an entourage 1,500 people strong. The king will stay in Indonesia for nine days. The House of Saud had prepared for the visit very thoroughly, with tons of kit arriving in Jakarta and Bali even before he touched down. The plane that carried him was greeted by a gilded electric escalator, which gently lowered the 81-year-old to a red carpet, sparing him the indignity of having to take a single step. Transporting him around town are a pair of modified Mercedes S600 limousines, reinforced to withstand bullets and explosions. The king's various advisors, support staff, and members of the royal court arrived with him in the latest Boeing aircraft. His cargo of treasures includes various items of luxury furniture, food, linen, and more. The king will stay in Jakarta for three days to work, followed by six days of R&R with his entourage at private villas in Bali. Suitably refreshed, His Majesty and friends will then proceed to Brunei, Japan, China, and finally the Maldives. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Hereditary privilege is sweet, huh? Here's five more videos about cool fancy stuff fit for a king. Mercedes-Benz launches drone delivery cargo van. German automaker Mercedes-Benz has unveiled an electric van equipped with package delivery drones. The Vision Van is an electric vehicle with a range of up to 270 kilometers. Its rooftop serves as a launch and landing pad for Matternet M2 drones, which can carry a package of 4.4 pounds. All packages are scanned and sorted by robots before loading onto the van by a driverless handling vehicle. The van can calculate the ideal delivery routes for the driver, who steers the van using a joystick. The van is equipped with a robotic shelving system that automatically locates and prepares the package for the drone inside the cargo compartment. The drone can be used to deliver packages to destinations that are not accessible to the van or the driver. The system also locates and prepares the package for the driver if it can be manually delivered. The company said it will continue to explore the opportunities of innovative van-related business. Therefore, it created a new organizational unit called Future Transportation Systems, which involved research teams in Stuttgart, Berlin, and Silicon Valley. Boeing rolls out its biggest Dreamliner yet, the 787-10. If you fly United Airlines, Singapore Airlines, British Airways, ANA, Eva Air, and a handful of others, you could soon be taking a ride on this beauty. Behold the 787-10 Dreamliner from Boeing. What makes a Dreamliner so special? Check out that body and wings made of highly advanced composite and lighter weight materials. Look how they bend. All a part of what Boeing says makes for a smoother ride. The 787-10 is bigger than the 787-9 and the 787-8. How much bigger? We're talking 18 feet, enough to give his little brother an inferiority complex. This means that in a typical configuration, an airline can add an additional 40 seats compared with the 787-9 for a total of 330 passengers. And down in the belly, count on stuffing in an extra 15% more cargo that you know you're gonna pay extra for. Damn baggage fees. Boeing says the 787-10 is 10 to 25% more fuel efficient than older planes or the competition. So the economics work out for the airline. But the extra weight means the 787-10 is intended for shorter routes compared with the 787-9. Boeing was considering making the 787-10 in Mexico until this guy showed up. Just kidding. Boeing had planned to make the 787-10 in South Carolina all along and thought it would be nice to invite the orange guy anyway. Future luxury apartments could have balconies big enough for personal flying cars. Ever wondered what life would be like when flying cars become an everyday mode of transport? Canadian engineer Charles Bombardier and Indian industrial designer Ashish Tolkar hope to one day develop luxury apartments with landing pads for personal flyers. An imagined luxury apartment aims to help make personal flying vehicles become commonplace. This new kind of residential building would see vertically aligned landing pads accommodate the vehicles. 
Residents would not necessarily need to own such a vehicle, but could simply order one, much like a taxi or ride-sharing service. When detecting an inbound vehicle, the balcony could prepare for landing by lowering the rail guard automatically. Air traffic control systems would be necessary to keep the city skies orderly and safe. Although the idea is still in its infancy, Bombardier and Tolkar believe it may not be long before we see apartment buildings built to code for personal flyers. Car journeys are going to be so much fun in the future. Tech giant Panasonic has unveiled its futuristic vision for an autonomous car cabin. The Panasonic Autonomous Car Cabin has four seats that can face each other, arranged around a centerpiece interactive digital display system. Each seat has an individual display screen table that allows passengers to map the journey, play games, or read information. The four screens can also combine into a single table with a bigger screen. The interior trim of the cabin is made of plastic smart materials that display information and can change to look like wood, metal, or leather. Augmented reality windows can display information about the car's surroundings, such as landmarks and points of interest. Meanwhile, each seat has a personal audio zone, with speakers integrated into the headrests. Facial recognition technology identifies the driver and will only permit registered drivers to take control of the vehicle. Should the driver choose to take the wheel, an eight-camera system feeds into an augmented reality display in the windshield to aid navigation. Panasonic's design was revealed at tech trade show CES 2017 in Las Vegas. According to the company, the plans are still a work in progress. But Panasonic hopes the concept will give people an idea of what the autonomous car of the future might look like.